Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to this video in which I will tell you if you need to buy a Mac Pro worth more than $5,000 or which Mac or which software and hardware you need to become a designer. So lately I bought a Mac Pro which is worth more than $5,000 I needed to design and make videos on YouTube. But do I need it for starting and creating designs in Sketch maybe or maybe in other apps like Photoshop? The Mac Pro has so much power, it has like 6 cores, it has uh, 64 gigabytes of RAM and so on, but do I need it to create a design? I can definitely tell you that you don't need to buy a Mac Pro to create a design. Save that money for software or other things that you need to create designs, but you don't need to purchase a 5000 uh, Mac Pro to create a simple design. I started to create designs on a 13 inch MacBook Pro Retina display and I think it was one of the best devices to create designs designs back then, so I was really happy when I purchased it. But I also created designs on other computers like the Mac Mini, I also created designs on a uh, iMac 21.5 inch and I worked on a iMac 27 inch, I worked on a uh, 15 inch MacBook Pro Retina displays. So I worked basically on any Apple device that you can get for design for Sketch basically. So you can spend $500 on a Mac Mini to start design or you can spend $5,000 for a Mac Pro and design on those devices. Every of these devices will work fine for creating designs. So don't wait and save like $2,000 for a 15 inch MacBook Pro. You can also just invest a small amount of money, maybe even a used Mac and start designing right away. You don't need to have the most expensive device out there. And once you get more projects and once you get more money, you can, uh, I don't know, sell your Mac and reinvest the money in a better Mac if you need to purchase like a laptop and you don't want to use a stationary Mac mini, for example. But don't let the device stop your development. If you need to buy a Mac, go for the cheapest one that you can find and I'm pretty sure Sketch will run on it. Maybe make sure that the latest version of Mac OS is working on this Mac and you will probably be able to work with Sketch and other design apps of course and you will be fine. Maybe it's not the fastest device, but as I said, you can evolve and you can invest into bigger and better devices later on if you need them. I think we designers are really under the pressure to have the new and latest devices that Apple releases every year and to invest like out of our money for those devices. But we actually just need a basic device. We can upgrade it if we need to, but every designer has different needs and probably will be able to work with different Macs and some of you will be able, especially in the beginning, to work on a Mac Mini, which is the cheapest Mac that you can get. Apple is also selling refurbished devices, so if you don't want to pay the full new price, uh, then you can buy one of those. It's cheaper because those Macs uh, were sent back to Apple, Apple checked them and cleaned them and stuff like that, and you get a discount of the new price. So it's basically an investment that is pretty great because you also get one year of warranty and it's great. So I posted the link to Apple refurbished devices down in the video description and you will be able to find the Mac that you need to start creating designs. So I hope you like this small tip uh, because when I started design I wasn't sure what Apple device, what Mac I need to buy to start creating designs but it's actually pretty simple and straightforward. So don't let the pressure that I said come to you but just use the resources that you have and purchase a device that will get you into design right away. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks guys for tuning in and we see us in the next one. Bye.